Weather's getting better. It's March 2nd. I was out in the field plowing, turning dirt. March 20th last year, that's 18 days from now, and that means tractor safety. Let me give you my opinion on the number one way to get killed on these antique tractors. Let me give you my opinion on red power. Let the world know, they may not still be making these tractors, but they don't need to because the first time they build them, they made them right. That's red power. Well, here's a Farmall M, here's a Farmall H, here's a Super C, there's a 400, uh, there's an A in the barn. This 756, I'm not going to talk too much about that, um, I'll, I'll briefly compare it. Well, one thing over the years, and I've used these for quite a few years now, um, I did a video on Tractor Safety 5, um, I don't know what I called it even, <laughs> it's been like two years and I'm probably overdue, you, you know, you, you can't be safety-minded enough with these old tanks, man. A lot of guys lost their lives on antique tractors just in general. And uh, you can still do it today, cocky or not. And I can tell you, every one of these things drives different. And if I had 10 Super Cs, they would drive different. Um, some would handle differently. Um, all the clutches are different in these. Some are punchy, some are long and slow, some are just right. And the reality is, is uh, you know, like on this Super C, I'm going to use fast hitch equipment. And I've got the C36 out there. i got the C20 plow and just some different implements. Uh, there's going to be a, a fast hitch uh, brush hog for this. Uh, this I pull the grain drill. I have used it for spraying. Uh, with a 300 gallon sprayer and I have a set of eight foot transport discs that are still painted green um, I need to get something bigger I, I really need 10 footers for this H I think honestly the A can pull those eight footers so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to give the eight footers to the A and then get an international uh, maybe like 37s for this H and I'll be set and then this can pull the 370s the 136s a lot of people classify them as 12 footers but anyways that that's not what this video is about so in using pull type implements with these tractors and I only had one guy ever mention it to me it was a guy that had never even driven one of these tractors a second in his life and he says you know I watch your videos and he says, I can't help but to just sit there and cringe when I'm watching. He says, because I could picture you going off the back of that and going down and you can just imagine what the transport discs would do to you. Pretty much make mincemeat out of you. And one safety tip when you're out in the field using these is always have two points of contact. Always. Your butt in the seat. Well, I guess you could consider that, too, if each cheek is one point. <laughs> so you're you're sitting, and one hand always, always on the steering wheel. And I don't mean a finger or something cute going on. Um, and, and really, like, I think the most dangerous time, if you're going to go flying off the back of this, is takeoff. You know, you start off in third gear, and you're revved up a little bit on the higher side, and you, you're, you're not used to driving the H, and... And this has got a little punchier clutch than the Super C that you've driven for the last two months and made video after video, and you're used to this clutch. And then also, it's like a car with brakes. You know, some are a little bit touchier, some are a little bit grabbier, some are, you know, you got to, you know, put 500 pounds of foot pressure down on them to, to get you to stop. But, you know, that that's really the number one way I see getting not hurt, but losing your life on these machines and that's going off the back now let's go over to the 756 not so much with this you see it's got the captain's chair on there um i'm never really concerned that much with with this tractor 
but you come over here it's got that um, the M's got its own special homemade seat jobby on there um, and uh, I'm just about if I have an implement behind me I'm almost always white knuckling yeah and I know somebody's gonna comment about this I have tires that are going to go on this the sad truth is these tires they're I don't know they're probably 40% tread um, perfect for pulling they work great um, the Super C's actually got worse tires on it but uh, leave a comment down below as to what you think. I can't imagine over the years the number of guys that have flipped ass over tin cup off the back of these. And uh, it, it didn't go very well for them. Uh, you know, brush hogs and, and everything else. And has a lot to do with not gripping that steering wheel with at least one hand at all times. If I'm on this tractor or if I'm on the M or that not so much this because I don't I don't pull anything with it I have pulled the chicken coop with it but you get the drift any one of these machines I'm white knuckling usually with my left hand leaves my right hand to play with hydraulics so there you go be safe I'll see you Friday for Farm All Friday. And uh, there's gonna be a tractor in Saturday's auction that I've never seen sell at auction. Um, at least that model. That series I've seen sell, but not that particular model. So it'll be interesting to see what that goes for. I can tell you from the pictures, it looks mint. Now for all you guys in the South, I know you're about a month ahead of us out in the field. Be safe, especially if you're using the antique tractors, not a cab tractor. I suppose you could do jumping jacks in a cab tractor. There's a reason why they invented the cab tractor. Safety. So I'll see you Friday. Check out the red power that's there. There's one red power tractor. I don't want to inundate you. You know, it's it's kind of like diving. You know, you go to the bottom of the ocean and you shoot right up. You get the bends. Well, I'm not trying to give you the red power bends. I got to wean you into it. Boom! Well, and would you look at there, I broke down and got a battery tender. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hook it up to the battery director, right to the cables. I've always hooked them to the cables and never had a problem. I don't know what I paid for this. I really don't. Um, I was going to buy it. I had to have it. Actually, what I need is another one one for the 400 because this tractor doesn't get used a lot and well batteries sit they sit all winter i mean this is not a heated building obviously with both ends open and that battery it it, it takes a crap on you and so i don't know i'll probably if this works out pretty good i should be able to come out tomorrow and red should be at least well there's the color code right there um, of course, it's not in English. The other side's English, but you know, at least at least flashing green. But uh, yeah, I'll get another one. And we'll be good to go. I got the main charger. That's the that's the quick jumper, quicker jumper upper. Yep, yeah, it's got the 60 amp boost engine start. I try not to use that too much. I like to trickle charge my batteries long and slow. I'll see you at the next video.